Building an online store with fourthwall.com, what are the pros and cons of this excellent online store platform? Let's get started. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So I just wrapped up a long form tutorial video on fourthwall.com and in that tutorial video, I covered pretty much everything that you need to know to get started with this online store platform. Everything from how to customize your website, set up products, offer a membership, as well as how to set a custom domain name for your site and link everything to the YouTube product shelf. So is this platform perfect? Obviously not. There are pros and there are cons. So I just want to cover from a high level overview about everything that you need to know if you're going to be using fourthwall.com to build your online store. So let's continue. All right, so the first pro of fourthwall.com is that it's completely free to use and they have reasonable fees. So you're like, yeah, okay, it's free, but what's the catch? Well, the catch is that they take a 5% transaction fee off digital products. So you can sell a wide range of products with them, but I think a lot of people are going to be interested in selling like digital downloads with fourthwall.com and linking that in the YouTube product shelf. So you're gonna be paying a 5% transaction fee for this free platform which I think is completely fair if you compare it to like a Gumroad, which is taking 10% of your sales. Another powerful e-commerce feature that's built into the platform is their print on demand offers. So you can sell mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, that type of thing. And the quality is quite good. And there's no transaction fees on any merchandise you sell. Obviously there's gonna be a markup because all these products have a base cost, but then whatever you mark it up above and beyond is what you get to profit. So overall with all the features and benefits that you're getting with a fourth wall, I think a 5% transaction fee on digital downloads is completely reasonable. Another pro is the YouTube product shelf integration. It's quick, it's easy, it just works and looks good. So I'm sure you've seen this on other YouTube channels where you have like the description underneath the description, you'll have like a list of like either merchandise or digital products. And you're like, well, how is that work? How does that work? What are they using? Well, there's a wide range of platforms that integrate within the YouTube product shelf, but one of those platforms is fourth wall and the connection process is pretty straightforward. You just navigate to the app section, then you click a button to connect it to your YouTube studio account. Then in your YouTube studio account, you just navigate to your shopping tab. You select fourth wall from the drop down you navigate back to fourth wall you click on reconnect and then your products are submitted and then within maybe 12 hours to 24 hours your products will start being displayed on your youtube channel so overall if you're a youtuber and you're looking to sell merchandise or digital products to your audience and you want to integrate that into the youtube product shelf on your youtube channel well then fourth wall is a great option because again it's free to use uh, the only requirement with the youtube product shelf is that you do need to have at least 500 subscribers in order to enable the youtube product shelf for any type of product Print on demand merchandise. So another big benefit of fourthwall.com is that they have a print on demand offer built into the platform. So they take care of everything on your behalf, everything from manufacturing the product to shipping it to your customer. So literally all you have to do is upload a design to a mug, a t-shirt, a hoodie, that type of thing. And that's how you create your own merchandise. So when the user buys your merchandise, they automatically get shipped to them by fourth wall. And on top of that, when you integrate everything into the YouTube product shelf, that's how you display print on demand merchandise on your YouTube channel. You can offer a membership with your fourthwall.com online store. So with your membership, you can upload private members only content, including video. So they do provide video hosting. You don't have to like host your videos at a third party. You can just upload your videos directly to your account. And then you can offer it as a paid subscription to your audience. And you can organize all your videos, all your video posts into video series to help convert more sales and also just helpful because you can organize everything into like different categories so like video series one, video series two, whatever if you wanna have that type of setup in order to convert the end visitor to becoming a paid member. And with a membership, you can also set up different tiers. So you can have like a silver tier and a gold tier. You can set up that type of thing. Again, it's very similar to Patreon. So if you're not particularly interested in selling like digital products and merchandise with fourth wall and you're looking for like a membership platform, well, you can do pretty much everything with fourth wall. If you want to sell digital products, you can, if you want to have merchandise, you can, if you want to have a membership offer, you can, you can pretty much do a lot of different things with fourthwall.com. Abandoned cart recovery is included with your free account. So the abandoned cart recovery feature is typically something that's usually behind some type of paywall on other types of platforms. So what it is like when someone goes to buy your product and they get all the way to the carts page, but then they just don't submit payment. Well, what you can do is set up an email that gets automatically sent out to the end visitor and offer them a small coupon code, maybe like 5% in order to get them to buy. So this abandoned cart recovery feature is completely free. It's not behind any type of paywall. You don't have to upgrade to like a pro plan. You get it with your free fourthwall.com accounts. 
Promo codes and giveaways are also included with your account. So on top of the abandoned cart recovery feature, which does help convert sales, you have access to promo codes, which are basically coupon codes. So you can offer coupon codes via like your YouTube description or your website or your email list to help convert people to buy your products by offering like a five, 10, 15, 20% coupon code. You can also run different types of giveaways. So for like engagement purposes, you can have some type of like contest or encourage people to like share a piece of content or comment on this thing. One one person will win this thing for free, that type of thing. That's what a giveaway is. So with fourth wall, you can offer both promo codes and giveaways to your audience. One click bump offers. So this is a big one for me. So when you get people on your product page and they click the button to add to their cart, well, what fourth wall does is that they have a nice slide out checkout feature so they can view their cart. But on that slide out checkout feature, they have additional products that you may also like. So if you have multiple digital products for sale or whatever, then your user is going to see additional products for sale and they can just quickly and easily add that to their cart by clicking a button. That's it. They don't have to like be directed to another checkout page and click another add to cart button. It's just a one click bump offer, which converts you typically at like 3% ish typically. But again, it's just a nice, helpful little marketing feature. This is why I like fourth wall because it has all these like useful little marketing features built in everything from abandoned cart recovery, promo codes, giveaways to bump offers. Custom domain support is included with a free account. So this is a feature that is typically put behind some type of paywall on other platforms. Other platforms are like, hey, you can use our platform for free, but if you wanna set a custom domain name, well, then you need to upgrade to this paid plan. Not so with fourthwall.com with a free account, you can set a custom domain name. So if you wanna change your URL structure from like mystore.shop.fourthwall.com to mywebsite.com, you can totally do that with a free account with fourthwall. And on top of that, they use entry on the back end to set your custom domain name. So it's all really just automated and easy. Just click a few buttons, follow the on-screen process. The only thing that you need to do is just get your domain name at a domain name register like Namecheap. A good website builder to customize your website. So with fourthwall.com, you get a bunch of different blocks to help build out your website. So the website builder overall allows you to build a very unique, effective, high converting homepage. So you can have a nice big offer section at the very top with a good H1 title tag and a button, different types of text blocks, image blocks, your products, membership, donations, and a bunch of other different blocks you can use to customize your website. On top of that, you can customize the fonts, the colors, upload a custom logo. And like I mentioned previously, you can set a custom domain name. So overall, you can build out a very custom, unique online store. So the last pro, in my opinion, is that there's a paid plan to upgrade to. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, well, why is that a benefit? Well, this paid plan only costs $15 a month and it removes all transaction fees. And so that's great because, say, if you're on Gumroad, well, they charge you 10% and they always charge you 10%. So if you're doing like a million dollars in sales, well, they're taking 10% of that. Whereas with fourthwall.com, it becomes a math problem. So if you're making sales of digital products with fourthwall.com and your transaction fees are in excess of $15, well, then it just makes sense to upgrade to the paid plan and pay $15. And then you just make more money. You keep more of the money that you make. So that's why it's a pro because $15 per month is a pretty reasonable price point and you can upgrade to it when it makes sense. All right, so now let's cover some cons of fourthwall.com. There's one big one, so let's get that out of the way. The first con of fourth wall is selling video courses. This platform, while you can sell digital products, it's not really meant to sell video courses. Number one, each video file that you upload has to be one gigabyte or less. And if you're on the free plan, you can have max five gigabytes for an online course. The other issue is that there's no LMS built in on the back end. So if you're expecting like your user to buy, then they get some type of like learn function that's like nice and structured with like different videos and like you're, they're not getting that. What they're getting, it's more like a Dropbox where it's like, here, here's a bunch of files that you can download to your computer and consume. So I just want you to be aware of that. If you're looking to sell online courses, I don't think fourth wall is ideal for that. Maybe like low ticket courses, like a $27 course, something like that makes a bit of sense, like a 10 video course, like whatever, something simple. But if you don't want your end visitor to download the videos directly to their computer, well, there's no other option with fourth wall. There's, like I said, there's no LMS built in. So if that's a deal breaker, I just want you to be aware of that. Cookie cutter design options, particularly for your product pages. 
So while you can customize the home page with like an offer section and different types of blocks and change the colors and the font choices and upload a logo and have a custom domain name, you can customize the home page so your fourth wall store does look a bit unique but for your actual product pages, you're pretty limited into the design and layouts. So it's just gonna be like a block of text, a bunch of images, a buy now button, and then you may also like section underneath everything. So overall, if you're looking to build out like a long form sales page, well, you're not gonna be getting that for your digital products with this platform. You're getting a cookie cutter product page, again, with a block of text, images, and a buy now button. There are some file size limitations that you do need to be aware of, like I mentioned already. So when you upload a video, it has to be one gigabyte or less. So that could be a little bit restrictive if you have like a really long video, but I think one gigabyte is reasonable, but it is a restriction. The bigger problem is that you're limited to five gigabytes on the free plan for any type of product. Now, if you upgrade to the paid plan, then it becomes a hundred gigabytes. Video hosting bandwidth. So if you're on the free plan of fourth wall, you can absolutely upload videos to a membership offer. Just one thing to note that you're not able to set those videos to be for free. If you want to have like a membership offer and have some videos for free and some videos for paid, well, then you need to be on the paid plan. If you're on the free plan, then all your videos for bandwidth purposes have to be under a paid membership option. So to wrap this up, who's fourth wall for? Well, in my opinion, number one audience for fourth wall is YouTubers. So anyone who has a YouTube channel with over 500 subscribers and wants to sell merchandise or like print on demand or digital products via their YouTube channel, well, fourth wall is a great option. It's also a good choice for anyone who wants to build out a full feature rich online store completely for free with advanced marketing features like coupon codes, giveaways, and abandoned cart recovery. And the products you're gonna to wanna to be selling via fourth wall are gonna be like a membership, print on demand merchandise, and low ticket digital downloads. Who's fourth wall not for? Well, it's really not for anyone who wants to sell online courses. So if that's you, then you're gonna to wanna to look at like Teachable or Thinkific, something like that. If you wanna sell more expensive, higher ticket online courses or offer some type of community. All right, everyone, so I'll just leave it there for this video on the pros and cons of using fourthwall.com to build an online store that you can integrate into the YouTube product shelf. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day.